It seemed like you didn't have a lot of rust to shake off and you were able to just kind of get out there and, and play your game a little bit today. How did you feel? Uh, well, we had a good week of uh, It's a huge transition from playing you know, mid major basketball to being out here with the guys who play in the NBA and having the NBA experience. But I took it on the stride. You know, the coaches have worked with me a lot. And, uh, you know, it's the best I've ever seen. What have these last few weeks been like for you, you know, getting drafted and just that whole, the whole feeling in these last two weeks? It's surreal, almost. You, know, you live your whole life for moments like these, and uh, I'm here now. Let's have this opportunity and just enjoy every moment. Your thoughts on kind of the state of your game right now? We saw you hitting a, kind of a trail three in semi transition, and being able to score in a variety of different ways. Where do you feel your game's at right now? Uh, well, you know, I still kind of got to get adjusted to the speed of the game. I thought defensively I did uh, you know, a pretty, pretty decent job. There was a couple times where we had a defensive breakdown, and that was kind of my responsibility. Um, and offensively, I just got to be a little bit more confident. I think that you know, I have a lot of room to grow, but I think that I can grow you know, and, and be a good player for this team, for this organization. Kevin, they, they told us on draft night if it wasn't for your medical history, high school and sophomore year, they wouldn't have gotten you at, at 57, that you would have been gone before that. Do you feel like you're a, you're a, a higher level guy than that? Uh, you know, I just I have confidence in my abilities. I have confidence in my talent and my work ethic. You know, I work on my game a lot. Uh, just, you know, excited to have this opportunity, but excited to be here. At your size, you know, we're seeing this more and more in the NBA right. of a four-man that can put the ball on the deck and kind of make some plays, shoot from the perimeter. Do you envision that, that your skill set is kind of meshing towards where the game is going? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I think, you know, with work, <coughs> dedication to the game, you know, being with Oklahoma City, they have a great uh, a player development. And, uh, I think my game is transitioning. I think my game is where the NBA is transitioning into. So, uh, you know, just keep working on my game, keep trying to get better each, each and every day, and uh, things guys learn. Did you think of yourself when you were younger as an NBA power forward? I mean, the game has changed quite a bit since then. <laughs> uh, when I was younger, I was like 5'10", weighed like 200 pounds. <laughs> so, no, to answer your question, I have no idea this is going to be my reality, but I'm here now. So. Did you did you did that happen gradually or did you have a did you shoot up at some point? Uh, in high school I kinda of grew a little bit thinned out and I got super duper skinny because I, I gained a little weight and so I kinda of started to fill out. But uh, you know, when I was a kid, <laughs> this is my dream, so now I'm here. You mentioned the speed of the game earlier. Has there been anything else that maybe caught you off guard a little bit, like surprised you? Yeah, I mean the speed of the game, physicality, how hard guys play. I mean it's just a total a total total like jump from, from where I played in college. Uh, all these guys are super duper talented, so you can't take any one person for granted. Even the guys who don't dribble very well and do things very well, like they can shoot it really well. So you got to close out hard, and you know maybe they put on the floor. So like everybody out here is talented, everybody out here is physically gifted, and you know, it's just you know a change because in college, you know, a lot of guys <laughs> like that. Does that help you to go through this process knowing you had a couple other rookies on the team with you as well? Yeah, I mean, uh, Devin, I'm your cool dudes, but. Uh, you know, Cobb, he's a great guy. He was talking to me on the sidelines and stuff like, you know, Oklahoma City is just a, it's a family type of atmosphere. Everybody on the team is really cool. And, you know, just, they want to see everybody succeed. So I'm a sponge. I take it, everything everybody says to me, and hopefully you know, I'll continue to gradually get better. Hearing something like that, does that kind of help calm the nerves a little bit in your first game? Oh, yeah. definitely, definitely. Uh, first game of summer league, <laughs> you know, like, Think about a lot of things. Your mind kind of goes crazy. All these people out here are watching, and you know, you guys, the media is watching. So, like, you think about a lot of stuff. And, you know, guys like Cobb and Jay Lee, they help me to, to think about the game, and to focus on making the right play on defense, spacing on offense, being in the right position. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of people I have to think. There's a lot of people that I help me to get to the point right now, too. I don't know. George just signed a four year contract with the Thunder, and you're going to be playing with Russell Westbrook. How does it feel to be a part of that roster? Man, you know, I watched them growing up, you know. Uh, okay, she was one of my favorite teams growing up, so just to be able to be on the floor and, you know, just blessed to have this opportunity and really be able to space the floor for a guy like Russell Paul George, you know, have them working and they throw it to me. So your height and athleticism, how do you think that's going to play with both? Uh, you know, just to be able to space the floor. Those guys are phenomenal with what they do. They don't need much space. Hopefully I can give them even more than what they need. Um, to be able to be a threat from the perimeter and also, you know, back up my mother's inside of me or something like that, just to be able to give them space to work. And then if they throw it to me, have enough confidence in me and, and myself to get them back on the shot. Do you plan on being with the end of the year next season? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if that happens, that'd be great. But, you know, my focus is just get better every single day. Will you be nervous when you meet Russell? 
Justin Peach the first time? No, nah, I've actually met Paul George. Super cool dude, down to earth. Would have had no clue. He's like a multi-millionaire. Great guy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm kind of excited to meet Russell. Uh, he's a good dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I was okay since I growing up, so. You know, it's just, it's be, it'll be cool to have this opportunity to meet him and to be able to play with him.